Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 uh, with the Rights of Man expansion as Russia. Okay, so we, um, in the previous episode, we vassalized Kiva. They are my vassal. Whoa. Kiva, there we go. We're going to get some cores back for them here in uh, a few years. Child in the reeds. Suddenly something startles the animal before you have time to fire it is long gone. There's a kid that we found in the reeds. He's a one, two, five of the weak claim. How old's my, how old's my, yeah, she's uh, 40 years old. That's kind of old. But I'd rather not lose legitimacy. We're already at a hundred. That's a pretty steep price to pay for an heir. So I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't want to lose legitimacy. I don't think that's not gonna happen. Let's go protect some trade here in the Baltic. We're gonna invade Poland here pretty soon in uh, like, like a year or two. We're going to invade Poland. Uh, we've got like three field armies over here, so we should have relatively easy time invading Poland. They're not allied with France like they were in the previous war, so we should be fine. Uh, you know what I do want to expect, though, is it was a war with the Ottomans once again. Uh, well, Lockheed wants a royal, a royal marriage. We have a 133 consort. Wow, okay. Baradia will have to invade as well. Manchu, um, our colonists are, are pushing up here into the east. I prefer not to lose money. I pay money any day to save admin points, but that's just me. So, uh, let's take a look at our expenses. We make 44 ducats from taxation, 41 from trade, 33, uh, no, 33 from trade, 41 from, uh, what is this? Production. That's what it is. And then we make four from gold, vassals, war reps, which is going to go away in 696. We have 15 ducats on advisors, about 9 ducats on state maintenance, fort maintenance is kind of high, colonial maintenance is not bad. We have 66 ducats a month on the army. Minus 20% land force and modifier though. That's pretty kick ass. Uh, we have, uh, what's, let's see, humanist influence expansion. So we're just working on influence and humanist at the moment. We actually just finished, we actually just finished quantity. And do I want humanist now that I really think about it? I might actually prefer religious. Um... Missionary strength is nice. Missionary strength versus heretics is nice. Culture conversion cost. Because humanist right now is what? Tolerance, local traditions, ecumenism, indirect rule, cultural ties, benevolence, and humanist tolerance. Influence I, I also need to get if, if sometime in the near future. Um, No, I, actually, I guess I will stick with humanism. That's, that's probably that's probably just fine, I think. Um, Honestly, we, we haven't actually had like that huge of a problem with... With... um. There was a time when we had pretty bad problems with unrest and stuff, but I think it's better now. It's probably a lot worse earlier. Let's go and take a look at the colonial map mode. Let's go ahead and colonize this. We're going to move some troops in there. So we, we colonized actually fairly quickly, I won't lie. They actually, they're changing the uh, the colonial, uh, colonial mechanic in the next patch. Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it, actually. I don't know. They mentioned that basically the bigger colony is... The bigger colony is, the um, the the smaller this chance of new settlers gets, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about that one because, basically, throughout history, large colonies have usually been the one to to get more people. Let's go ahead and enforce religion on, on uh, Kiva. Yeah, it's gonna drive up their liberty desire, but that's okay. Uh, it's not too big of a deal. Lucky is nice and loyal. Yeah. Throughout history, large colonies have always been the ones that got more people. Like, the British North America comes to mind when I think about that. A lot of people went there, um, and it was a very large colony. It was, it, was, it was very densely populated compared to, like, France and Spain's empire. I get a question in the Twitch chat. Shouldn't the bigger the colony, the bigger the new, uh, the new population be? Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying, is, is basically... The way it works out in history is that the larger the colony, like for example, British North America, the more people are likely to go there because it's 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 larger, it's more prosperous. There's there's more economic activity, um, especially for France and Spain in their New World empires. They never had a large population. It really wasn't that large. I think I think New France had like sixty thousand settlers, and that included what like half of Canada and all of Louisiana. Spain's um, New World empire as well was large. 
in the sense of an Indian population, not necessarily a Spanish peninsular population. Whereas, like, dude, let's let's talk about the okay, let's talk about the 13 colonies here. At the time of the Declaration of Independence in 1776, England, England proper, like Great Britain, just the Isles, had a population of 10 million people, men, women, and children. Here in the colonies, it was 2.5 million. That's why the 13 colonies had such an advantage in manpower compared to the British. is because the British, their population really wasn't that large at the time of the Declaration of Independence. You had 2.5 million people here in the 13 colonies. Which actually, really, if you if you like box it out, it's actually just this. You know? 60,000 people, I believe, lived in Spanish Louisiana, or um, French Louisiana. I mean, it was ceded to the Spanish at that time. And uh, even in New Spain, there weren't a lot of peninsular Spanish people that lived in the New World. It was usually just governors and, and maybe soldiers. That's about it. Not a lot of settlers actually went there themselves. So, um... So let's take a look here. We don't have any more truces. We're ready to declare war against Poland. Actually, we do have a truce still. That's weird. September 1697. Huh. The war wraps ended earlier than uh, than the truce did. That's, that's interesting. I didn't know that could happen. We just converted. Did we convert Abel? Yes, we converted Abel Finland. I might even change this this culture here back to back to Finnish. That'd be kind of cool, huh? Let's actually take a look here at the uh, accepted cultures map mode. Finnish, Sami, Lithuanian... Muscovy. We have a lot of this that we could probably add. Mishar, Kazani, maybe. Or I could just start converting stuff. Wow. 18 Diplo to uh, to convert. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Converting all of that would be pretty cool. I wish it was kind of natural, but I think these, these culture conversion mechanics are better than what they used to be. Hmm. Where do you want to go? Let's see. Karkoy and Lu. Who's, yeah, who's at war here? Gazmuk and Conquest of Mingrelia. So Karkoy and Lu is going to be annihilated. Uh, I would love to get Gazmuk as as a vassal to to defend against the Ottomans and and the Persians down here. So France and Tunis, Oirat, Oirat, you're next, man. After this war with Poland, you're next. Okay, July 1697. So let's prep up for war. We're gonna get three filled armies here. Make sure our generals and stuff are ready to go. Latgalia, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on from Breslau to Latgalia. That's probably gonna be my first target. Um, and right here in the center, we're going to go for, I think, Warsaw, and I'm going to put in, I think, the 453. And then this guy's going to have the Minor General, a 3232. Three, two. He's actually a really good siege stack, so we might have him on Warsaw. And we might have this guy here in Volhynia go probably Lub to Lublin and support the Warsaw and siege. I know it's Warsaw, but I, I like to try and roleplay a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see here. <laughs> I got a, I got a comment in the Twitch chat. Converting culture is so expensive, man. Feels bad, man. That's well, honestly, though, after it used to be a lot more expensive. They've actually changed it um, to where, like, say, if you're if you're here in Orlik and you want to change it to Muscovite, and Muscovite's right next door, it's actually really not that expensive. Like, look here, it's only thirty six Diplo. It used to be so much more in the previous patches. I think like one point one six um, is when they brought that change about. I'm not sure yet. I'd have to, I'd have to double check that, but. Like, especially if you go religious, like if you, if, you, um, if you come over here to religious ideas and the finisher is culture conversion cost minus 25%. If you do religious, dude, you can culture convert like crazy. Like, uh, you can go bonkers, man. You can go crazy. So are we going to need, do we want to take this? I don't want to take the Diplo ideas. I don't want to do influence until we're ahead of time. But the religious unity might help out. I mean, it's already 82%. We don't really have a problem. Is this true up with Poland? Yes, it is. Okay, so can we declare war France? Oh, wow, they allied France again, didn't they? No. Why is France here? France? Oh, France is defender of the Catholic faith. That's why. They're not going to join this war anyway, though. They're at war with who? Burgundy? The Netherlands, New Netherlands, Brandenburg, and saxe lauenburg Tuscany, Austria, Württemberg, and, Aust uh, and Savoy. Oh, wow, France. Good luck with that. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, we got nationalism and stuff now. So there's some advanced Castus Belize. Let's invade, let's invade Poland. I'm going to go for, I think, Troki. Troki's a claim, right? Yes, it is. Let's go and invade there. Let's go for La Gallia. Let's go and march this guy into Warsaw. When we're going to go here for Lublin. The British will join. The British Empire will, will support Polish. Should I hire a general? Um, I mean, an admiral. We don't have that good a tradition. 20, 20 naval tradition. That's nothing. So I think I'll just leave it alone for now. I think our fleet will be just fine without them. 
without a without an admiral. We have been fine before. The Polish have transports, galleys, and light ships. I've got a lot of galleys, so I think we're gonna be just fine here in the in the Baltic. Nice. This is gonna be a shutout, I think. I think the end of Poland is is drawing near. We're gonna annihilate some people. Lagalia. We already took Lagalia. Let's go and march up in here. Uh, let's see. Throki. That's 20 development there. Grodno. no. 17. Do we have aggressive expansion with this guy? Oh shit, we actually do. I might I probably should have waited on this then. Actually. Is there anything I can take that can lower aggressive expansion? We have prestige. Hmm. Yeah, now that I really think about it, we actually probably should have waited because we have a lot of aggressive expansion with Poland. We're not going to be able to take much without repercussions. Then again, though, even I could even probably handle a coalition or two if I wanted to. But is that is that smart? We'll see. We'll see. Because I know that if I finish up this war here in a relatively decent amount of time, um, and I get a pretty good truce timer, 15, 20 years, we'll, we'll be... Oh, wow, that was a quick siege there. Nice. We'll be free to uh, advance into the east for, for a few years. Um, should we engage this? Where's he going? He's going for Matawa? Okay, we might actually march up there and engage that. No, is he going to go for Memel? Where is he going to go? Probably going for Memel. Uh, nope, nope. Where is he going? He might be going here. Let's go and just make sure we're, we're staying close. He's he's probably not going to... Oh, wow. We, that was a quick siege. Wow. That was a really good siege. He's probably in Danzig if I was him. Let's go ahead and send our uh, siege leader. Let's go ahead and get the siege leader on mob war. We're going to stay close by. Memel's also going to fall. Let's go ahead and block A, the Eastern Baltic. Start to convert here. Let's take a look at uh, Influence Humanist. Uh, nope. Nothing that I'm going to take. Memel, uh, Warmia. We'll be in there soon enough. Ooh, 100 population, one of our colonies. Nice. Okay, wow, really? There's, uh, oh, there's no fort there. Never mind. We're about to take Memel, and I think we're going to take Malborg here. Yeah, we're, we're going to dismember Poland, honestly. Like, this is this is going to be like the beginning of the end for them. Poland is going to be subjugated. Whatever it takes. Let's march on Krakow. Where's my siege stack? There's a lot of people in Baradia. There's a lot of people that are um, advancing in tech now because I think we got really close to them and so it's just kind of spreading to, to the old world. Or I guess to like Asia. I don't know if it's like the new world, old world, what they call it, the Orient. I don't know. Alden is now our colony. It's all, well it's done now. It's not a colony anymore. It used to be. Excellent. Yeah, so we're going to be here in uh, in like way, the, way over there in the far east here pretty soon. Yeah, I knew they were in Danzig. Uh, let's come up here. No, nope, we're going to stay. I think, yeah, we're going to stay just so we can support these these stacks here relatively easily. Celestia. We, ow. Yeah, <laughs> holy crap. We just did crack out. That was, that was a quick siege. That was a really quick siege. Um, no, we, we're going to need that admin here. We're definitely, I think, going to have to push up in Hungary at this point. We've got a lot of allies. They have a lot of war exhaustion, a lot of allies, but we're, we're going to need that um, that war score. Because these forts, these are all level 2 forts, so they're, they're not worth very much for occupation. Let's go to uh, Matamoros. And let's keep converting stuff. Make sure we do that.
Nice. Oh my god, that was a quick siege. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Khalees is gonna fall. There we go. We just wow, that was 251 days. That was actually probably one of the longest sieges of this war. And I think Thames. Thames is gonna come. Bosnia is over there in Travunia. Whoa. I didn't know the Polish were up here. Wow, 40,000 on Ziggy and Separatists. Holy crap. I didn't know they were on St. Petersburg, actually. Nobody told me. Uh, they didn't take it yet. Let's march up there and deal with those Polish. Uh, ooh, the Enlightenment Institution's here. Cool. We're gonna want to take... I think we're gonna take this, this Diplotech. That should be just fine. Uh, don't take it. Don't take St. Petersburg. Nope. You don't get to take St. Petersburg. So we just got Imperialism. It's it's a, it's a good cast this ability. I like it. Although I don't think we'll use it too much. Wow, look at that. We just got here just in time. We're actually probably going to put a fort there in St. Petersburg because it's so close to the fronts most of the time that I fight on. Yeah. Holy crap. We have 6.1 morale, 3 military tactics, 110% discipline. They've got 2.5 tactics, 4.9 morale, and 115% discipline. That's going to be stack white probably. Yep, look at that. We killed 37,000, 5,000, and 19,000. All at one time. Wow, that was excellent. Light Marco, thank you so much for following on Twitch. Really do appreciate it. Uh, Yeah, that was, a, that was a stack wipe. How do we only have 30 war score? How is that possible? We just lost a general, I'm pretty sure. We can take military tech, and what about this... Um, we need, how many points here? 577, and we have 774, so we should be able to take that as one. Still have some still have some left over. So we're going to do, um, we're, we're going to want a pretty decent piece here. War reps, annulled treaties, and we're going to take all the territory that I have claims on. Is there a coalition? It's just Poland. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. So that's that's about it. We're gonna have to yeah. Let's siege down. Damn it, we gotta go deal with some of these Danzig and Separatists. Accidentally messed that up here. Can I recruit another general? Not yet. I have no military points whatsoever. I'm actually completely just gone of them. 67 ducats or national tax modifier plus 50% for a whole year. What why is it 67 ducats? What is that? What kind of talk is that? What, what is this? Let's go deal with the Dan Ziggy and Separatists. I don't want to, but we're gonna have to. We're also gonna they're gonna siege all my stuff back. I think we'll just march up this army here. We should be just fine. Yeah, we'll be just fine. Um Ooh, that was an excellent victory. Ooh, the British. Look at this here, the British. 15 heavies. Wow, 15 heavies. And nothing else. We have galleys and lights. We're going to be destroyed, probably. Let's go ahead and retreat to St. Petersburg. Let's go ahead and get a fort. We're going to get a, a fortress here, I think, in St. Petersburg. I need 792 ducats. Oh, no. You know why? There's no build slot here. Yeah, I need 50 development for that to have a build slot. Well, either that or I get rid of one of these structures. Uh, which is not preferable anyway. Yeah, I guess I have to do some development there for St. Petersburg before I get a, another fort. Unless we go for Novgorod, because it's right next door. That actually sounds, I guess, like a better idea, doesn't it? Just get a fortress there. Just put it and just blockade everything. I don't know. I'll have to consider it. So, isn't this a full occupation of Poland? They don't have any other forts, do they? No, they don't. Wow, that was quick. Alrighty, well, uh, I'm going to finish up this war in the next episode, guys. I'm going to take a quick break here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys soon.